<clears throat> Hello, this is Doug again. Uh, this video is about what the Second Amendment means to me. The Second Amendment means I have the right to bear arms. Where well, there was a, a time of peace, time of uh, uh, war. I have the right to bear arms, whether I want to defend myself, whether I want to go shooting at target ranges, or whether I want to go hunting, and the other thing is, just because I can have them. It's not, the government isn't going to sit there and tell me what I can cannot have, and I'm, I'm getting really sick of how these people think that what our thinking is wrong. You know, I got a lot of great friends like Kansas, Hillbilly, um, Prepper, and I got a lot of great friends out there, and, you know, um, we're one big family. Uh, you know, Feinstein and them, I'm pretty upset, you know, <coughs> fight, you know, like Obama. You know, a couple things, you know, with our, uh, maybe his Secret Service shouldn't have any kind of firearms. They shouldn't. Obama's not any more important than me or, or anybody else. And fine said, anybody, you know, same with her. <coughs> you know, I'm pretty pissed off right now is because of all the movement that's going against uh, gun, order, gun owners. You know something, these senators and congressional leaders, they waste no time trying to get this thing passed in what, the um, last six, seven weeks, and yet they can't even balance a budget? But yet, we're supposed to trust in their decisions and stuff like that, and whatever decision they make, you know, we have to have faith that they're doing a great job being a congressional leader. Personally, I don't know how Feinstein got elected. I don't live in California. And I sure to held in vote for Obama. But one thing there is something. I'm not giving up my Second Amendment rights. I'm not giving up any firearms or anything. One thing that's important about standing your ground. Standing your ground no matter whatever happens. You know, there's a, there's a few things in life. You know, I've had regrets. I've made mistakes and stuff like that. You know, but I don't have any regrets for what I say and feel. You know, I, I feel I've been blessed by our Heavenly Father. You know, there's expectancies. You know, I, I get I get more upset. Is I, I'm really happy that I see we've we've all seen a lot of sheriff's departments are are uh, supporting the Second Amendment. But I'm really uh, pissed off about that uh, police chief from Baltimore that was on the congressional committee hearings the other day. He represented nine districts and he was whining, complaining about um, he um, large capacity firearms and magazines and assault weapons and all that other stuff. You know, first of all. There is no seven round magazines for ARs or AKs or, or whatever, or nine rounds. All right, they're not going to tell me what I need and don't need. You know, a few weeks, you know, a few months ago, my son came home from school and he said, you know, he, he, he's upset is because the food at school sucks now because the, Michelle Obama says this is fat and this doesn't taste good. Don't ever let the government or anybody push you around ever. You know, part of, you know, that's the thing. Don't let anybody. You know, the way this country is going, and uh, I doubt if we're going to make it, we're going to make it throughout the next six months without some kind of financial, the financial crisis coming down on us, or World War III is going to happen, the European Union to fall apart. Like I said, there, there's reasons other countries like China don't hate the United States. You know? You know, it's it's the way our leaders are acting and behaving and stuff like that. And and Obama, he's a hypocrite just by himself. He's out there uh, shooting um, uh, clay pigeons and all that stuff on August 12th. Oh, yeah, it's, but it's okay for him to fire a firearm and us uh, Americans can't. Um, don't piss on my back and tell me it's raining. Stand by your beliefs. You know, one day we'll wake up. This isn't going, America isn't going to be the same anymore inside of six months. It's <laughs> You know, it's going to be pretty, pretty bad. You know, um, a lot of us correspond to each other. We talk to each other on the phone or emails and our videos and stuff like that. You know, but we can't, we have to hold the ground. You know, I, I definitely commend the Sheriff's Department and all that stuff that say they're going to uphold the Second Amendment, but I don't want to see a police officer whining and cr crying about large capacity magazines or assault rifles. All right. What I should probably do is, not, if I hear any more of this whining and uh, complaining and stuff like that by these police chiefs, I should just send them a box of diapers and baby bottles. That's life. All right. You don't get paid to eat donuts, and your job description requires more than writing somebody a ticket for speeding or eating donuts and drunk drivers. You know, when you said when you when you said your oath and all that stuff about being a police officer and stuff, you said you were going to uphold. You know, to protect and serve them. You know, and you're going to protect people. 
don't whine and complain about it. Like, how many people show up at a uh, uh, at a house if, if somebody's suspected of using a gun and stuff like that? What, 20, 30 cops? Everybody's got ARs, full magazines, unlimited amount of ammunition, SWAT gear, bulletproof vests. How much more do you want? Your job wasn't going to be easy, and you knew it when you took your job. It was never going to be easy. You know, there, there's a saying, if, if, if you don't want a bloody nose, don't pick the fight. I doubt if highly, I really doubt if American citizens are really going to, are that stupid, they're going to turn in your, their firearms. Of course, there will be some. But I really don't. I think the uh, expectations, I think what's going to happen in the months to come, is going to really shape the United States of America. I'm pretty upset, and I've got to go now so I can eat, but uh, leave some kind comments, or, you know, I don't want to block anybody out, but... God bless, take care.